Hello, welcome to my spontaneous video. I suddenly decided to film because I wanted to give myself a haircut today. It has been exactly one year since my last haircut. So what I'm trying to do today is just um, getting rid of some length because as you can see my hair has grown to be quite long now compared to last year. Is it probably around here? I think I kind of want to donate my hair but I feel like it's not just keeping it long. Um, there are quite a lot of dead ends. No, not dead ends. Split ends. <laughs> but yeah, I want to get rid of those split ends and just get rid of some length. Before we go into my process of cutting hair, let's go over some tools you might want to prepare first, which include elastics, hair ties, and hair clips to keep your hair in place. It is also nice to have a comb in handy as well as some hair cutting scissors. Alright, let's get back to the make video. Okay, I guess to start us off, I will be parting my hair in half. Why do I feel like I actually have a bit more hair on this side? Did I split from the middle? Okay. I'm gonna assume I did split my hair in half. Um, I can't really see the back. I should be checking the back, but you know what? We're gonna trust our instincts and see how it turns out. If I ruin my hair, I'll just have someone else fix it for me. <laughs> Next part is sectioning our parts. There are two parts right now. I'm gonna tie this side up first and section the other side. Is just to make my job a bit easier because I don't want the other side getting in the way. I think for splitting this side, we're supposed to do it from our apex, so the highest point of our head, and split all the way down to behind my ear. Where is my apex? <laughs> I can't tell <laughs> where the highest point is. This side. Is it this point? Okay, so we got two parts now. They look split. <laughs> also, you can tell that my bangs are a mess. I tried cutting them on my own a while ago, last summer, and they just kind of grew out. So they look horrible, but we'll see what we can do with them later. So I guess for the back section, I will maybe clip it up. And then we got the other side. If this turns out to be a mess, I'm not gonna post it. So if you see this video, probably means that I succeeded. I feel like I actually have a lot less hair than I expected myself to have. I used to have a lot of hair as a kid, but you know, stress builds up as you grow up, so probably lost a whole lot of hair. So we're gonna pull it to the side. I can always just tie my hair up first and pull the elastic down. I'm gonna repeat this for the other four sections. I'm back with my sectioned hair that took three years to complete but yes we are finally sectioned we are gonna start cutting actually it's okay I still have quite a lot of length to trim off so if this fails we'll just make it shorter <laughs> okay let's go for the other side now. It's actually a lot easier to cut your front than your back. Um, maybe because my hair just isn't long enough yet. So it's kind of hard to like pull the back of my hair to the front and then cut it because I have limited vision. But yep, we'll do with what we have. Oh. 
you got two sides. Now we're gonna deal with the back. Also, just something that keeps annoying me on my bangs, if you also have bangs, uh, they can kind of get in the way, so you might want to consider clipping them up or something. Why did I not think of that? Let's clip them up. All right, got all four sides down. We can now check our final results. Oh, wait, it actually looks decent. Oh, do they look the same length? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this side fell. All right, let's see. Oh, it looks decent. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's actually so much better than I expected. Whoa. actually looks really even. I feel like there are parts that I can't really see, but maybe I'll just have my mom check it again for me. But it turned out okay! Whoa! This was what the back of my hair looked like, and I was actually really surprised by how even it turned out. I'm actually also thinking about giving myself curtain bangs, because these bangs are not it, and they are kind of growing out now, so maybe I could give myself curtain bangs. All right, I think now we're supposed to trim the length first. And we're gonna wet my hair just to make it easier to cut. So we are back to cutting hair again. Just to be safe, I'm gonna keep it around my lips. And we're gonna cut. So, what it looks like right now. It's not perfect, but we'll work with it. And now I'm gonna pull it to this side, making sure that my fingers are parallel to this part. I can't really see what's going on. I hope it's parallel. If not, I'm kind of screwed. Okay, that was a lot of hair, but oh, whoa. Did I do it right? Is that too much? Wait, what? Is that right? Okay, I assume I did it right. And now we're gonna do it on the other side as well. So I'm gonna let my hair down and brush it out a bit just to see where everything's at. Well, this is what my hair looks like right now. Here is a comparison of my hair before and after my haircut. I am actually very impressed by the results and I think I'll be cutting my own hair from now on. But that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time with some exciting videos. They are pretty interesting content. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment what you thought. Yes. That's all. Bye.